how can I start monetizing GPTs and making some money off of them? I'll show you my exact process in order to do so. We're gonna walk through step-by-step step how to achieve this, what software is to use, and kind of the end product of where you could be at if you want to start monetizing your GBTs. Welcome back to Corbin AI, y'all. Today, I'm going to be showing you how we monetize our GBTs. Take of a grain of salt. You can either do it this way or alternative ways. This is probably the easiest way to do it so you don't have to deal with external plugins, you know, a bunch of external stuff you don't want to deal with. This is going to be the easiest way to do it in this context. With that being said, though, let me just show you like a little bit of an intro video or like a video showcasing the GBT. I'm going to also include this software in the description down below. Go ahead and use as you will. But for the purpose of this video, let's go ahead and just check out, you know, a little intro video. So as you see, intro videos, if I can zoom in, y'all. And let me go like this. Intro videos are great because it just gives context of the user using the actual GBT. I think this is just a very powerful one. I'm about to show you, this is a one-time purchase software. Where basically, once you purchase it, there's no subscription associated with it. And you can always create videos like this. So beyond just monetizing GBTs, this software in itself is just super powerful in making high-quality videos super fast and you can edit it super fast honestly i may even make a video on this software because it's so good but without further ado this is kind of the preference and the route you can take when creating and listing gbt's is you'll have an intro video to provide context of what's included with the underlying gbt and then finally you'll have a nice little image let's do this together so to start off we gotta build our gbt so in this video i'm not even gonna build anything too crazy like it's gonna be very simple i'm just gonna say uh build or your purpose is to give me good coffee recommendations. Something that's not even like has any value in it. We're just gonna show you the whole process with this. One thing I wanna point out is that basically you can add a ton of more value through actions, OAuth, custom actions, API keys. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, you can check out this playlist right here, having everything you need to know about GBTs. This one in particular though is probably a big one, big request from some people in my audience. I just kinda of wanna know how you can monetize this, uh, this kind of thing. That being said though, Reality wise, the purpose of GBTs when you're really approaching it is basically a really cool feature found within the GBT workspace, uh, workspace here, which allows you to put your website link on the GBT itself. So we're gonna go ahead and show that. But let's just first create a GBT. So we got our, I give tailored recommendations, perfect. We're gonna go ahead and say, good name. Uh, give me a profile image as well of a minimalistic coffee cup. If you can't tell already, I really like coffee. Funny enough, I didn't start drinking coffee until I was 21. <laughs> so I don't know how that happened. But once I started drinking it, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm going to willingly get addicted to coffee. <laughs> there was a discretion made in my brain that I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, this, is, this, is, this is up my alleyway. So I was going to get this generated image here. And then I'm going to show you basically how to add that underlying link here. It's very simple. Basically, you would just go to wherever your domain provider is. This is perfect and basically add the, the requested information. From here though, I'm gonna hit save, and I'm gonna say anyone with the link. And it looks like there's one thing I have to do here. I'll have to name it. So I'm just gonna call it Coffee GBT. And I should call copyright, okay. And then let's hit save, anyone with the link. And as you'll notice, we have the Web Cafe software website there. So I click this, it brings us to the set, which other stuff gets sold here, as you see here. But we have our underlying GBT with our website link. In order to add the website link, it's very simple. I'm gonna go to my settings over here and I'm simply gonna go to settings and beta. Once you're in your settings and beta, you're gonna go to your builder profile and this is basically where you can add your link or your name. That being said, the name is gonna be associated with your billing account. So basically go to where you pay 20 bucks a month, type in like, they say like, can I look at my subscription? And then you can change your name there. That's where this is associated with, as you see from your billing details. This right here though, your website, you can verify a new domain. So you'd click that and provide you a text. You just go to your Google domains and add it. Once you do that though, every single GBT that you create will have by the underlying website domain, which is important for this tutorial. One other thing I wanna point out is as you see, when I create a new chat and anyone creates a new chat, the link, click, they will see that. Now, this is one of my more popular ones. It's completely free. You can probably find that in one of the videos in that playlist there where I showed you actually how to create this. This allows you to basically create GBT. It's a GBT to create GBTs. GBT exception, all right? Spin the top. <laughs> but I click this, I'm going to the site. So that's important. You want to have that. That's going to bring traffic to your underlying site. Once you have created your GBT though, as you see with the Kathy GBT, let's go and play around with it. First thing you want to do here is you're going to take a screenshot. 
So I'm gonna just jump over here. Take a screenshot of your GBT. Because in reality, your GBT is gonna have those four main conversation starters. It gives context, plus you have this, plus we're gonna use this screenshot later on. On top of that, we're gonna zoom in a ton. And we're gonna screenshot this. Why are we screenshotting that? Because we're gonna up the resolution. I'm gonna show you a machine learning model that I use in order to up the resolution in context like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and jump to that real quick. All right, so I'll try to make sure I remember to bring this in the uh, description down below. This is a site called replicate.com. This allows you to access developers basically make these models for very specific use cases. So this use case, we have a low resolution image and we're gonna make it more high resolution. So my use case, that screenshot of that CAFI or that GBT image, I'm gonna go ahead and up the resolution. So I'm gonna head and load it here. I'm just gonna do it by 2X. So if it was a thousand by a thousand, it'd be 2000 by 2000. Keep that in mind though. When you're upping the resolution, you wanna do sub 1000 images as if you do two larger images and ask for a high resolution from that, it's not gonna be able to print out. It's gonna, you're gonna run into errors. I'm gonna hit download. Okay, so we have our image. We have our GBT. Let's go ahead and create a digital file in order to send this GBT. To do so, we're gonna to go to a free software called Canva. And Canva's amazing. I love Canva. Although I do like Photoshop better. But Canva's cool. Canva's completely free. We can start leveraging Canva. So what we're gonna do in Canva is you're just gonna create a template. It doesn't have to be too crazy. For me, it's just two pages. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that first image we had. All right, so we got our high quality GBT image here. One other thing I'd like to do is add a little bit of, you know, flair by adding the name and description that we saw from the GBT interface itself. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drag that in there. As you see, we have both things here. We can go ahead and move this in here so we can center it. Perfect. So we have our underlying GBT logo. We have the nice little description here. And then I have some social links, uh, some company stuff here. And then I have, you know, our logo for our marketplace. From here is our next step. We're gonna go back to our GBT here and we're gonna copy its link. To do so, I'm gonna go ahead and come up here. I'm gonna say, confirm to this again. I'm gonna copy the link provided here. And we're gonna go ahead and push that to our PDF that we just created together. So when that comes up, we're gonna hit copy here. I'm gonna come back all the way to our Canva. I'm gonna hit command K. It's gonna allow me to add a link. Command V, enter. Perfect. Command K, Command V, enter. There we go. We have officially created our deliverable product. So now that we've created our product, let's go ahead and find out how we're gonna actually deliver the product. So how this works now, I'm gonna actually add one last thing here. I'm gonna add coffee, GBT here. I'm sorry if y'all hear that crow. That crow just be squawking back there. I'm gonna go ahead and just download it and we're gonna have our PDF. So we have successfully created the PDF. We have a digital format file. How the heck do we deliver it? First step here is you're gonna create a Shopify account. You're gonna use this as your e-commerce solution in the context of delivering digital products. Boom, created. We've created our store. Second thing, you're gonna to go to the Shopify app store and you're gonna download an app called Easy Digital Products. It's the best way to deliver your app or digital products at the most cost-effective rate. So much so that if you see here, it even has a free to install. You'll have a max of three digital products, which is plenty enough to start off with. And you can start basically delivering digital products in the context of Shopify. Two down. Number three is going to be the screen recorder that I just showed you. So this is called Screen Studio. This thing is amazing, y'all. The, uh, the product, the pricing is basically a $89 and you'll have it for life. This is the type of stuff I love to see. This is the type of stuff I encourage you to use as you're gonna be able to leverage and get an ROI out of that $89 to create a ton of content with for other endeavors. Without further ado though, let's go and see this listed. Okay, so we are currently in our GBT here. As you see, it's already kind of been pre-filled, so you'd pre-fill to your specific context here. We can go ahead and add two of our images here. All right, step one is done. We have our two images here. Now in your context, you'd use screen recorder. You'd do basically a little demo, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, you'd upload that as well. I would suggest uploading on YouTube as it embeds easier and just looks better when you do it through YouTube. But now that we have our underlying product, we can start leveraging it in our EDP, thing, uh, EDP app that we have on this Shopify store. I mean, over to EDP here, all we need to do is hit create digital product, a variant. We're gonna type in coffee here. Boom. We're gonna say pick product and just proceed. I'm gonna drag the file there. Once I do that, we can add a bunch of different information here, but I can just hit upload and save and we're good to go. I'm not gonna do that because we're not gonna list this one, but this gives you from start to finish how to start monetizing GPTs. So if you feel like you learned something today, make sure you leave a like, it's completely free. If you like this kind of content and you wanna see more content, I do more business oriented stuff when it comes to artificial intelligence and GBTs and stuff of this nature. So you can check out that whole playlist I referenced at the beginning of this tutorial. The way I see GBTs y'all is very much in the context of using it internally in your business, but also a ton of value when it comes to you know other people 
accessing your GBTs. So this is just one way to do it. There's plenty of other ways to monetize your GBT, but honestly, what I've seen on the internet and, the, and YouTube is no one's really shown you everything that's involved. Was this a little rush? Yes. But did this give you an idea of from start to finish everything involved? Yes. Take that as you will. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Corbin AI, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.